Hey plant friends, welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new, my name is David and on today we're going to be cleaning some of these plant shells because they're getting a little bit dusty and messy and also bottom watering some plants. I already, I'm already bottom watering some plants right now, I'm bottom watering a prior plant, the red one, golden potos, green jizzy river plant, black jizzy river plant, and a lim lemon lime or I don't know what it's called but she's a Jancina. I can't flip the camera so this is what I gotta do. That plant, I know it's a Jancina, but I think it's called the Lemon Jancina or Lemon Lamb Jancina. Um, Black Zizi Rubber Plant, which is pushing out a new leaf. As you guys can see, where is it? This little fella. Super cute. The Green Zizi Rubber Plant, Golden Potos. Um, and then this prayer plant that needed some bottom watering really really bad because she was getting really really dry and at the bottom we have the plants that i already bottom watered last night so that's all i have right now and like i said i'm gonna clean these two shelves and hopefully those two shelves as well um also i am a little bit wet because i was just doing some dishes i was washing some dishes so that's why i'm a little bit wet but yeah so let's just get started on this video and also i will be giving you guys some updates on some plants that i am proper getting and i'm so so excited also a coniferous plant that i bought from seed that i got for clearance and it is pushing out any growth which i will also give you guys some updates as well but for right now let's do a quick time lapse on me cleaning these plants and i'll talk to you guys in a bit Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the final, I was gonna say final product, but the final look. This is how I ended up doing it because I, the plants that were in here, they needed some water. For example, the big Brazil philodendron, um, I needed water, so I can't leave it there, like decor it there. This is why I don't like bottom watering all of my plants because it takes forever and also like, not just that, but it messes up like the theme or like where they're at, but you know, watering is more important than how it looks so i guess it just refreshes the look at the very corner we have the swiss cheese which has grown a lot and i am noticing the leaves are developing like some are putting a good amount of like holes of illustrations others are not so and that usually means because it's like it's not getting enough light and also as you can see like the spacing of each leaf which is another sign of it not getting enough light which is why i ended up placing my grow lights my favorite ones which are these these will be linked down below they're always always linked down below because these are my favorites a lot of you guys have tried them as well and have told me like they're great they really really are and they're not like that one's also really really good but i said again i haven't had it for a long period of time but my plants are reacting really really good on it so it does seem to work especially this victonia so i'm gonna give you guys some updates on this table because a lot of this in this table there's a lot of exciting things but the con about this light is that it heats up very, very fast and it's really really hot the way i also like to decorate my house plants the style corn fern loves to like lay like on this side it will benefit a lot more if it had like a piece of wood and some moss on it like tied in but i don't have that material yet and it's not on my budget right now so hopefully in the future i can do that and if i do i would love to make it into a video but also whenever i decorate i like to give some height so short plants and then like a little bit of like some tall ones between also like this like the pots um so like this is a really really pretty pot and if i put it on the floor you won't be able to see it so if i put it above you won't really see the foliage of like the beautiful tristar stramanti so like in the middle you can see the pots and these beautiful leaves in the back of it as well when when it becomes night it folds up and another thing is also colors so whenever like i said i like to i don't like it when it's too much like of the same color like this for example i mean even then this is a really nice table because it's like the variegation table i guess you can say they're all variegated and they have that beautiful white ish variegation some is yellow like this yucca and the umbrella plant but at the very top like over here for example we have this green swiss cheese and the manjulo potos with this other plant that I don't even know we're not gonna get to it right now <laughs> and i ended up putting a black zizi ribbon plant to like break it up and i just love how it looks it also helps to give like each plant a spotlight because like if it's all the same colors they just get lost um another thing that i also look at is the lighting and the humidity so i know that this door is not that bad but where the ac is at i want to keep all of my calatheas there because it 
you know, it shoots out dry air, dry cold air. So I need to make sure I don't have a lot of like humidity loving plants in there. And if I do, I like to leave it all bunched up like this, for example. Um, what else? What else? I ended up cleaning the shelves because they were so dirty and I kept saying I was going to clean them, but I never really did because I just get really, really busy. And hello, Mir. <laughs> Um, my golden goddess philodendron, she is so stunning. All of this that you're seeing, like the little brownish spots, um, that's always when I bought it. I'm guessing that was from shipment, but it doesn't really matter because the plant's doing really, really great and it's putting out new leaves, which is the most important thing. Also, this snake plant, which is really, really pretty. I really do love how simple it is and like the clean look that it has. It's putting out a lot of new leaves and I'm just so excited um what else what else what else what else before i get to this table um one sad thing that i want to talk about is this piss lily she was so so beautiful i mean she still is as you guys can see but um i was moving this table and at first i thought that was a bug but it just stole with flowers which does need to clean up but oh my god like i said when you have a lot of plants it just never ends which is fun but it's also like oh my god um <laughs> this peace lily was on top well domino peace lily aka domino variegated peace lily wait peace lily variegated or domino peace lily was on top of this shelf thing and i was trying to move it i was being really really lazy because i was being lazy it ended up dropping it just fell and half of the leaves like this entire side a lot of leaves ended up snapping which is why some of it looks really really flat and bent as you guys can see i was taking a lot of the damage but i mean it's she's doing okay i just oh my god this was one of my wish list plans and i'm just so happy that i got it and i got it really really fast which is amazing all because of plantarina hey plantarina beautiful variegation Okay, now let's get to the table. This is my burger a little bit that I got from Etsy. I think I did an unboxing. I'm not that sure, but it is putting out a lot of pups, and I'm just so freaking happy. I do want to separate them and give them their own little pots, and also want to give this girl all these aloe veras. Um, I gotta cut my nails. I'm so sorry. I just keep looking at it, and it's bothering me so much. They're not that bad, but I like to have like the white part, like none of it in my nails. <laughs> um. I was gonna say yeah so i really don't want to give these girlies a terracotta pots because they will just they like the soil to like not be moist a lot and with plastic pots like this and that for example they tend to retain moisture which is not that bad as you guys can see she's doing perfectly fine but i'm pretty sure she will love it a lot if she had a terracotta pot well them because there's a lot more babies also i'm really really scared to separate them i know that you can just break it off i mean for example like my grandma literally she has a green one and she just breaks them off like nothing just plops it in soil and it just like grows into a whole new plant which is really exciting but i'm really really scared to do it on this one um this is a new plant my grandma has a green one and i have the variegated one the one that she has is really easy to grow very fast growing and very easy to propagate so i'm beyond excited to propagate this girly because its leaves are just so stunning like beautiful this is my really sad not so sad um dark mystery pilea now this girl has been through a lot. She was eaten by my chickens and she was going through a lot. So I ended up like cutting the entire top. And as you guys can see, the good part is it's putting out a lot of new leaves, like little baby shoots. There is a lot of nasty stuff. I know I got to cut it off. I promise you I did it cleaned it up, but I guess it's shriveled up even more. But I know I need to clean it up because this can um, promote pests. And we don't want that inside of our homes. Um, unless if you do, then that's you. But in my household, <laughs> in my household, we do not want any bugs in here. Okay. Um so i do need to give her a good cleanup but i'm just so happy that it has like new leaves popping up and the camera is not focusing and it is an easy plant to find in the big box stores i can easily just find another one and toss this one out but this one and i we have been through so much and i don't know i just i'm just really connected with this plant and i'm gonna feel like trash if i throw it out um oh my god that was kind of like a pun okay um but yeah so i'm just happy she's doing it okay my carnivorous plants oh my lord you guys i mean this is kind of sad well i don't even know that's gonna put a new leaf but wait there's a picture <gasps> look at the little picture i do have two other ones and they're like in the front yard they're getting really really big but y'all like this gets me so happy my pink splash i thought it was a confetti syngonium but a lot of you guys were telling me that it is called the pink splash i googled it and it is the pink splash syngonium which is so stunning i'm just so ready when it gets really 
like just even more full um excuse me okay that was like spider-man for a second i'm just so paranoid at this point look at the new leaf popping up i'm so excited okay um my con my i'm sorry i'm seeing a lot of filler words i know that's really really annoying i tried to cut them off but i tend to struggle a lot like it's just it's too much cutting um <laughs> this is my uh bird bird's nest alligator fern crocodile bird's nest fern not alligator crocodile well, let me get my seat because y'all this girl my boyfriend i, I saw it at, at the big i wasn't at the big box stores it was at hb at like at my local grocery store and i was so excited i was like i was telling him like should i get it they had so many and they were so healthy they were not looking like this one they were so green lush and full for i think 14.98 which is not a bad price considering it's an alligator bird's nest fern um in my area they become they are really expensive um and online it's don't even get me started online but i was saying like should i get it should i not like i think it was like in a plant shopping video and i was debating like so many times if i should get it or not and i decided not to like he convinced me not to like i can wait because he was saying the truth like i mean i am in like in a really tight budget right now especially that the holidays are coming right now and i really do want to buy a lot of like led lights because like christmas lights just makes everything happy you know i want to make this christmas special for my boyfriend and my brothers and my mother and you know christmas lights can add that oof like in christmas anyways so i was like okay i'm not gonna get it and uh, like uh, two weeks later i guess a week later not two weeks but a week later i was at home he came from work and he ended up showing me this and y'all i was like screaming i was like oh my god thank you so much but like this means so much to me i was crying a little bit okay i was so grateful and then i looked inside and there was mold now you can't really say it anymore because i literally cleaned it off and i was adding hydrogen peroxide and doing all that jazz but i was like so sad i was like oh my god it had mold and it was dropping a lot of its leaves but now she's in the grill light she got a good cleanup i got her i gave her hydrogen peroxide and as you guys can see she's not so green so i might need to give her some fertilizer or some nitrogen to like help her out because i know nitrogen um helps leaves become greener and more lush so that's probably what this girlie needs and and i know I, I can give her some fertilizer because i am seeing some new growth but i'm just so excited she's doing really really good um compared like before and with this girl light i just know she's gonna like be happy and my footage and my you guys, I'm just so excited. It has three nodes. I probably get my fillet, my potos and my philodendrons by nodes because like I know I can make more plants, which equals to a bushier, beautiful plant. It does take a while, but hey, like it's totally worth it. And as you guys can see, it was successfully propagated. And I'm just so happy. I already have one. She is right there, the mother plant. She has gotten so big over the growing season. And sorry, my neighbor's dog is barking. Um He's probably like barking at a raccoon. I'm not even sure. But yeah, like, uh, I don't like having a lot of plants like the same one. I love propagating because it's so, so fun. And also, it's really beneficial to your plants. Uh, I might make like a dedicated video why it's really good to propagate your plants if you can. Um, and there's a lot of like con. I mean, sorry. There's a lot of pros on propagating your beautiful plants if you can and if you want to. But yeah so i might sell her to somebody i might even sure i might sell it for 15 dollars. i'm gonna let it grow a little bit more um if not i'm just gonna get really attached to it and i'm probably not gonna sell it but look at that leaf oh my god it's velvety so stunning next we have these snake plant pro um cuttings that i was doing i need to clean off the water look at those roots isn't that so much fun i have another one where is she i think she's in my window no she's not oh my god i'm like literally blind um look at it you guys isn't that so fun look that's a new that's a new snake plant right there and then there's another one right there so many roots it just looks amazing and it's crazy how they're turning green which i'm guessing they're photosynthesizing so that's really really fun my uh, i don't even know it was from my own julos it was from that plant, the Manjulos potos that I got from Coastal Farms. But I noticed that it has a green stem, a green plant that's a whole different plant. And it has green variegation. Let me show y'all. Literally, it's all over the leaves, as you guys can see. And everybody's telling me that it's just reverting. But y'all, I look back at the, at the plant that's in the pot, and it was never, ever green. So, I decided to propagate it, and we're going to find out what's going to happen. The exciting part is that there's already some leaves popping up if this is gonna uh, allow me to do so look at wait is that a 
I don't even know about Vape one. I swear I saw some. Oh, there it is. That green little thing right there is either a root or a leaf popping up. And I know something is going on because these leaves have not turned any flimsy. They're actually really, really firm. Um, I think that's a new leaf. It is a new leaf. Oh my god. That thing is a new leaf. And I'm really, really excited. And we're going to find out what's going to happen. That's a free tuna that I was propagating. She's getting a lot bushy because of these lights. So that's really, really fun. Here's another one that I also propagated from the same stem. Like I told you, I love propagating by nodes because like... You can get a fuller plant, and who doesn't want a fuller plant? I know I do, and look at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah, amazing, amazing. Um, this is the very good effect that I just got at Rainbow Gardens. If you guys have not seen the plant shopping video, I highly recommend you to watch it. I was not talking, so if y'all like those videos, the plant shopping videos of people, you know, like they're not talking, then I highly recommend you to go and check it out because it was really, really fun and they had so many beautiful plants. Look at this ficus, very good ficus, and I got it for $7.99. Oh my god, I could have cut my nails. Um, it's super, super cute. I'm really, really scared of it because people say it's really, um, I guess you can say fussy. It likes high humidity and very bright indirect light. I need to do research if it likes the soil moist. I know I'm, a, I'm like the worst plant parent. It's just you guys, I get distracted with so many plants and I probably should stop buying. I know that looks like spider mites, but I promise you it's not. It's just like damage. It has like this book that's weird. Um, but yeah, so I need to educate myself a little bit more on this plant. But look at that new that's popping up. Isn't that so much fun? Oh my god, I'm so happy. And then my Silver Blue Potos. These I am planning on doing a giveaway on my YouTube channel and probably Instagram as well for Thanksgiving. And as you guys can see, there is these roots are growing really, really fast. I know that some leaves are turning a little bit flimsy. And I'm guessing it's because that sometimes the, the nodes are exposed in the air and they're not getting enough water so i probably need to water these again i literally have to water these girlies like every 12 hours because they just dry out like crazy for example this leaf i don't know what this you see that it's not going all the way in the bottom and also they're really really bunched up which i should have bought another glass container or just put them in another container because some of them are struggling to root so i probably need to do that after this video because I really, really want to do a giveaway because these silver blue cuttings are getting really damn expensive online. They are slowing down, like, the price, um, not being so dramatic, like, $60 for, like, a plant, like, a four-inch pot. Um, and I know some of y'all already have it, already, like, paid for one. So if you still, if you want to have another one or if you want to gift one away or... I don't know, but it's going to be available really, really soon. I'm so excited. If I don't see enough roots, I probably need to, like, push it more ahead um, or later. The giveaway which will be a little bit disappointing but i don't want to ship out a really bad plant i want to ship out some cuttings that have a lot of roots and i'm telling you these roots are getting really really big except some that i think are struggling because they're so bunched up and i know some of you guys are cringing right now i'm gonna fix that i promise and all my life this video is getting really really long this is what happens when i talk a lot about plants i know some leaves are really really dirty i told y'all like i have a lot of plants and i'm blessed i'm beyond happy that i got all these plants but oh my god it's Ooh, I need like some help. <laughs> I need people. Oh my god, that'd be so fun to like have some of y'all to like come to my house and we can like clean some plants and I'll give you some cuttings and we can just talk about plants and drink, drink coffee or some tea if you don't like coffee or just soda, it doesn't really matter. But I don't know, I think that'd be so cute. Probably won't happen, but the idea is really, really fun. I did not talk about this begonia, you guys. Oh my god, this begonia, you probably don't even know, but because like you haven't seen how it was, she was so ugly. <laughs> She had no leaves. She was like so so bad, but look at it. These grow lights are making her so happy. Like it's so shiny. I'm sorry if I'm being really really loud, but it's so freaking shiny. And these lights, oh my god, yes, queen, do you? I think that's. On, oh, let me show you the carnivorous update. So you can barely that little green thing you see right there. That's a plant probably developing. There it's always oh, probably just moss. I don't even know what the hell. But I promise. See there you go. You see that green thing right there? Yes, that's a plant. And I also, I added more moss on top because I noticed that's, I don't know, I guess I had leftover moss and I just placed it on top. But there were some that were popping out. Um, it's not like I said poop. And I also ended up covering it as well. I do open it up like once, um, whenever one of my plants, I leave it open to get some fresh air or whatever. And then I close it back and get like give it all that humidity that these carnivorous plants love. But yeah, I'm just so excited. It's already been like a month, I believe, or probably going to be two months. I got this container from Lowe's and it was on clearance, I think for $3 and I'm not that sure. But 
I was like, let me get it and let me just experiment because they sell these and I'm just like, why do they sell carnivorous kind of seeds? Like that sounds like impossible to grow, but obviously not because it's doing something. And then I guess over here, um, ignore that. My boyfriend was, he did some shelves and they come out really, really bad. He struggles a lot to take them off and they're just there. Anywho, this is my Brazil philodendron that hasn't been watered yet because I'm watering these other plants that were getting really, really dry. My pear plant, golden potos, green zizi river plant, black zizi river plant, and this beautiful joncina. I think it's called the lemon lime joncina. They all needed water, so I'm giving them a good bottom watering session. And then I'm going to bottom water this Brazil philodendron. Uh, hopefully tonight, but if these don't look that good, I might let these like drink a little bit more water or be in those containers for overnight which i have done i have like left a lot of plants in these containers for like i think 48 hours and i've never had any problems but we all have different environments some things work for others and that works for me in my environment i live in san antonio texas by the way i don't have an ac central so these plants and have a lot of bright um windows so these plants dry out like crazy so I think that's why I haven't had any root rot problems. Usually a lot of my plants die because they're not getting enough water. So I promise you all, like, don't do, don't do like probably 48 hours of bottom watering or stretch it to that long unless you know that it can do okay. I highly, I, I was gonna say highly recommend, but I recommend um, like six, 12 or possibly 24 hours of a bottom watering session. Um, if you have like a couple plants, then I just say like six hours, that's perfectly fine. Um, this is my asparagus fern and she has gotten so so big she's this is new and then this is new from these past two months and then this little fella it's new when I saw this I thought it was going to be flowers and then well first I thought it was like just dying like it put out these like beautiful thingies and it they dried out and it made it look like this but it turns out well and then after that I was like oh my god it's gonna put flowers and then after that I saw it doing its thing and I was like, oh, that's how they put out new leaves. So I learned something two months ago <laughs> when these two came out. But it looks really, really pretty. But yes, you guys, so this is just some updates. I do want to do another houseplant tour. I don't know when because my family's always here and I hate filming around them because it just feels weird. But um, yeah, and uh, two more things. My spider plants that my boyfriend got me from the, the store, she's on really, really low light okay and she's putting a plant like look at that she's putting out babies and it's so freaking cute oh my god and then my string of hearts she is just not stopping on putting all these flowers i know that it's a season right now but if y'all look like i see more flowers than leaves i don't know if i should be worried about that um because i'm seeing way too many flowers and not a lot of leaves <laughs> uh but look at that. I did smell them and I don't really smell cinnamon. <laughs> I really, really don't. People say that it smells like cinnamon, but I don't smell it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, houseplant update video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know so I can film more of them. And if you didn't, just give it a thumbs down. I totally understand. Just let me know. I want to know how you guys feel about these, these kind of videos. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!